I have always liked Belle as a character, as an MC, as a main protagonist, like, in general. This episode made him absolutely in my top 10 favorite MCs, protagonists, in general, out of all the series that I have ever watched. Like, season 3, episode 7 of Don Machi probably is one of... Actually, it is my favorite episode of this season, and probably one of, if not my favorite episode of Don Machi in general. Not just because of the obvious, like, music is always amazing in Don Machi, number one. But the interaction with him and Dix, and then the team up with Lid and Bell versing Dix because, like, Lid really resonated with what Bell was saying to Dix. Dix saying that, like, whether these creatures are monsters, whether they are humans, if they are crying for help, I will come help them no matter what. And then Fells is like, Bell. You can't be or whatever. Like, like he's like, I can't believe. Like, he's surprised about that. Dix is trying to, like, instigate him to, like, to try and kill these monsters. Like, what he did with Weenie in this episode. That he took the gem off of her head or the stone out of her head. And she turned into, like, the giant beast monster looking thing with two wings. Looking like, like, like she was, like, part Lamia with with like part dragon i'm pretty sure she is like a a, a dragon uh a v uh viver oh right that's what they're calling them but i started tearing up and getting so emotional seeing him standing there looking at weenie when she turned into that monster looking thing and she can't like control herself she kind of like she pretty much became one of those mindless monsters he stood there and she clawed his shoulder. And the instant that she did that, she started remembering those memories that they had at the Hestia mansion, the F Hestia Familia mansion and everything. Because she remembered the clawing on his, sh on his, uh, or clawing on his arm and everything that she remembered. And then she starts crying and everything. And like hearing his speech riled up lid lid and lid and i thought that the the minotaur which the minotaur in this episode bro when, when all of those monsters like i believe her name is, is ray right the the harpy girl when she is about to get captured out of nowhere the 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 minotaur monster who is said to be or uh, Zenos, who's said to be stronger, actually stronger than Lid, straight up just knocks, I forgot her name, the one from, from the Ganesha Familia, the one who's the head of the group and everything, out of nowhere she gets smacked into a, a tree like she's nothing, and everybody's like, whoa, what the hell is going on? You see, you see this big ass minotaur, like, and then after that, Every, all the humans are wiped out. All of them are wiped out. They're all, they're, they're not dead though, but like, which is pretty insane. You got real, real trying to go at this Minotaur. She can't do much. Like a Minotaur that has like the mind of a human and Xenos or whatever seems to be something that's very dangerous to like, he, he knows exactly how to use his horns and everything. And it seems like he's not like red. It seems like he's, he's like, he, his, he has like fur. It seems like he has fur that's like black. And then he has like a stripe of red fur, like on his back or something looks, looks sick, but we don't get to exactly see what he looks like. But you can you can tell he is obviously a minotaur. But when he was fighting Ryu and he stopped, like he wasn't going to kill her, stopped, was going somewhere else because he heard a howl that was going on, like he's going to help, like over there and whatnot. And like, I can't, bro, like, 
Oh, it was amazing. After, like, the whole thing with, like, Bell giving that speech to Deeks, saying that, like... And also, Deeks finding out that, like, at first, last episode, I thought that Deeks was talking about how, like, he only was, was killing and selling these monsters and stuff because, like, to further, like, excavate the, the, the labyrinth that, that uh, like, uh, Daedalus, his, his ancestor, left him and everything... Like I thought he was just killing him for funds or selling them, selling those monsters off for funds and whatnot, but that's actually not the case. Like seeing these monsters that are able to talk, cry, and laugh, and him killing them satiates his bloodlust of like wanting to finish Knossos that that Daedalus left for his ancest for for his descendants to finish the labyrinth and everything that satiates him and he's trying to like try to get bell to be like you you understand right they're monsters who cares like what uh, what they are even if they can talk and cry like exactly like us monsters are monsters and everything and, like that whole speech was amazing and then bell's rhetoric speech to him being like whether they are a human, whether they are a monster that can actually physically cry and 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 laugh and whatnot, if they call for help, I'm gonna help them. And like, oh, it was amazing. Lid saying that he was so happy that like he was so happy so much that not even like this curse could like stop him from feeling this and wanting to help bell and then their team up and when the bell is ringing with the music when they're fighting dicks bro was so good it was amazing fighting dicks whilst while bell using his hero punch like the call of a hero bro the argonaut and like he just punches dicks but then like Dix lets up the curse, so then his level can go back up, and that's so he wouldn't get knocked out by Bell's punch and everything. And man, oh my gosh, it is <laughs> it was so good. The episode I, I have not felt this anxious, this happy, this excited for an episode for an anime episode in, in the longest time, even more so. Then Fire Force, which today's episode was amazing, but Don Machi, this episode just completely beats it out of water. Like I was, I haven't felt that much like giddiness in my chair, like going like up and down in my chair, like uh, holding the holding the sides of my chair like really intensely, and everything, and and me like having to pause the episode like two or three times because I'm like this is too hype. You got Lynn and Bell fighting dicks together, like their team up is like so fluid and amazing like it, it it's like they've been teammates for years or something and there's uh, so amazing with choreographing each other like together it was just fantastic and then at the end in Daedalus Street like seeing like Dix uh, like giving uh Winnie a a like an il illusionary like curse and whatnot like seeing bell everywhere like illusions of bell and she's freaking out and shit and then he opened the door to where the surface is in daily street and she's going all the way up there and then fells like heals bell and bell goes up there and stuff with like a whole crazy turmoil going up there like with weenie by herself up there like freaking out seeing bell everywhere and everything and then at the end, when when Bell gets there, spear, spear to Winnie's shoulder, and there's the Loki familia, with the with the little man leading the group with Eins there, the two Amazon ladies there. You got the wolf dude. You got you got you got like the whole main squad of the Loki familia standing at the top of a building with a spear in Winnie's shoulder. And Bell just this is why Bell is pro, is my one of my absolute favorite MCs ever because like he is breaking down his mind he's losing it like he's he's losing it because like he's seeing eyes in them they don't know what's going on there's dozens upon dozens of people circled around everywhere like and and Bell is is. I don't think he's broken. It's just that he's frantic and freaking out right now because he does not want her to die. He doesn't want Winnie to die. 
So then he's freaking out, and he stands there and decides, I have to protect Lainey. I have to. And, like, that ending with the Heste Familia, with, with Mikoto, Haruhime, and everything. Haruhime was almost going to get a, attacked by, by, by Lainey with her claw and whatnot, but Belle saves the day. He tells Haruhime to hide. You got Welf and Heste and all of them just hiding. And Belle's there alone, and, and then that spear comes and gets her and everything. And I'm just, I'm excited to see what comes next. This theme sequence and everything, you see Ayn's pointing her sword at Belle. This is the moment that it's happening. And again, I'm, I'm scared. I'm excited to see next episode. It's going to be amazing. And I'm ready for it. But what do you guys think about this episode? Leave down in the comments your thoughts about this episode. Your thoughts about what I said about it and everything. I'm just like it's it's exhilarating. It is so exhilarating. My heart is like about to pop out of its uh, pop out of my chest right now. Like I, I have, haven't been this flustered for a, a, an episode of an anime in so long. But yeah. Anyways, leave down in the comments your thoughts about the episode. Your thoughts about what I said. How excited you are for next episode and everything. Uh, like this video if you did. Like the video if you liked the episode. Like the video if you liked anything I had to say. Like the video if you like Don Machi in general and and whatnot. And just leave a like uh, and and comment down below uh, how much you like Bell as just a character in general and everything. I like. I don't blame him for what he's doing. Like, even Hermes calls him a fool, and I'm like, yeah, but there's nothing else he can do, you know? There, there just isn't. And so, leave down in the comments your thoughts about, like, everything that's been going on so far. It's This arc has been absolutely phenomenal and amazing. And subscribe to the channel for more reviews, vlogs, unboxings, live reactions, and different discussion videos, and things like that. So, gentlemen, stay classy, ladies, stay sassy, but most importantly, everybody, you gotta stay a little nasty, all right? So, peace and love, and I'll see y'all later in the next video. Peace out. May the force be with you always, plus ultra, lot home. And when the when the bell tolls, man, Bell Cornell the Argonaut, when the bell tolls, when he did that hero punch, ooh, so good. So good. I'm excited for next episode. Peace out, everybody.